Arsenal versus Leicester City, Tuesday, December of July in the Premier League. Yes, lads, how you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the Arsenal versus Leicester match preview. So, after Leicester City finally managed to win a game of football last about, of course, beating Crystal Palace 3-0 at the King Pell Stadium in the Premier League. Three points, a clean sheet, Jamie Vardy's a hundred of goal. Leicester City are well and truly back in action, people. We are back, the Foxes are back, and we can now focus on securing that Champions League spot for next season. However, after that huge win against Crystal Palace, the games continue to come thick and fast in the Premier League. We now have a huge game on Tuesday night against Arsenal at the Emirates. Two sides fighting for a European spot, so it's set to be a massive of game on Tuesday night. So today, I'm going to bring you guys my match preview. Go for the Arsenal side of things, my thoughts the game, my score prediction, my predicted lineup. So today, guys, I'm going to bring you the match preview for Arsenal versus Leicester City in the Premier League. It's a huge game on Tuesday night. But just before we get into it, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video if you're going to enjoy today's Arsenal versus Leicester match preview. Leicester City are back. I'm still going to bring the content out now that we're winning. So yeah, go and drop a like if you have enjoyed today's video, guys. All you do go on to, can we get... First like on today's Arsenal versus Leicester match preview. If so, that would be much, much appreciated. But while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to see my face on your screen before. We're now on the road to 1,500 subscribers. We are aiming high. So if you're new around here, go and subscribe. You haven't seen my face on your screen before for much more Leicester content, Premier League content just like this. Also, turn on my channel post notifications so you notice any future videos on the channel just like this one. Follow my social medias, they'll be down there. Links to them will be in the description down below. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts on this game, your score predictions in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get into the Arsenal versus Leicester match preview. So as per usual, getting straight into today's match preview, we're going to start off by talking about the opposition side of things. Today, I've got Ben to come on the channel to give you guys the Arsenal side of things heading into the game. A big thanks to him for coming on the channel today. Go subscribe to his channel, Ben Brown. I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. So I'm going to hand over to him. He's going to bring us the Arsenal side of things, the Arsenal predicted lineup, the Arsenal fans score prediction for the game. So yeah, I'm going to hand over to Ben now. He's going to bring you Leicester fans and me the Arsenal side of things. Thanks, Josh, for letting me feature on your channel. So today I'm going to be doing my Arsenal versus Leicester match preview. So I'm going to be talking about lineups, Arsenal this season, recent form and the prediction itself. So Arsenal this season haven't been the best, honestly. Um, I think when Unai Emery was in, we just didn't do very well. Um, yeah, I think we was like 10th, 11th, nowhere near where we should be, at least in the top five, trying to get Europa League spot. Um, however, when Mikel Arteta has come in, he has done very well uh, with the resources he has as well to uh, get as high as, I think we are, like 7th or something. To do that well is very good. Um, hopefully, we can pick up a Europa League spot at some point. So recently, Arsenal have been doing pretty well um, since the restart. Obviously, the first two games weren't the best. Obviously, a 3-0 loss to Man City and a 2-1 defeat to Brighton. Uh, but though, apart from that, we beat Southampton, we beat Sheffield United as well, 2-1 in the, the 90th minute. And then we also beat, uh, yesterday, Wolves as well, a nice 2-0 win. So, my prediction is going to be a 3-1 win for Arsenal. I'm going to say Saka, Lacazette and Aubameyang are all going to score. And then for Leicester, I'm going to say Jamie Vardy, just because he's been so good this season. Um, the past couple of seasons, actually. Surprised he hasn't maybe moved on to a bigger club. I know, I know, uh, some Leicester fans might get triggered when I say that, but um, he could have. I think he had a chance to move to Arsenal in the, when when they won the league, but uh, he didn't. Which in the end, I think was a good idea because obviously Arsenal haven't been doing that well in the past couple of seasons. But yeah, I think he'll get on the score sheet. So my team lineup is going to be in goal. We've got Martinez, obviously done very well. Then we've got Mustafi. David Luiz and Kalasinac. Yes, I know David Luiz ain't the best, but it's been all right so, uh, the last couple of matches. Uh, then left wing back, we will have Chini. And then in centre mid, uh, we'll have Xhaka and Ceballos, two very good players. And then right mid, we'll also have, I think Cedric should deserve another chance. And then up front, we're going to have Lacazette on, in the middle. Then we're going to have Enketia and Abamian. So yeah, thanks Josh for letting me feature on your channel. Make sure everyone goes sub to him. And yeah, back to you. So a big thanks to Ben for coming on the channel today. Like I said earlier on, go and subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get into the Leicester side of things. Heading into this huge game on Tuesday night between Arsenal and Leicester at the Emirates. So, 
We finally won the game of football, beating Crystal Palace last night in the Premier League. I made a video, five things going wrong with Leicester. And it looks like Brendan Rodgers watched that video because we turned things around massively against Crystal Palace on Saturday back at the King Power Stadium. Three points, a clean sheet, 3-0. Jamie Vardy's a hundred Premier League goal. He's now the top scorer in the Premier League with 21 goals. So things are looking much better for the Foxes. And now hopefully we can we can continue and start a good bit of form as we take on Arsenal at their Emirates. However, we, have, we haven't won against Arsenal away for about 30 years. So to be honest, are we going to win? Probably not. All jokes aside, of course, Crystal Palace last time out in the Premier League at the King Pearl Stadium. We did actually get back to anyways, a 3-0 win at the KP. It was a brilliant result, a great performance, especially in the second half. And that is a big, it's just a big weight off the shoulders for fans and players. And of course, with Brandon Rogers, as we haven't really won for about four months. The last time we won before that was in March. So um, yeah, it's fair to say it's good to get back to winning ways as a Leicester fan. But in the Crystal Palace game in particular, Brendan really did switch things up. The formation, the main thing, going to three at the back. Could we see that in the game against Arsenal? I'll get into that in my predicted lineup later. But like I said, it was a much, much improved performance. It wasn't the greatest of performances, but it was definitely improved from the performances against Everton, Brighton, Chelsea, or before that. So very, very promising signs. And hopefully we continue and keep building on the performances heading into the game on Tuesday night down at the Emirates. So moving on to the game itself then, Arsenal away. We never do well at the Emirates. I mentioned it earlier. It's about first years since we won an away game against Arsenal so um, yeah at least that stat needs to be broken at least once so hopefully we can do it on Tuesday night but like I said it's going to be a massive game it's, a, it's going to be a very tough game Arsenal really turned their form around under Mikel Arteta beat Wolves 2-0 away last time out and that is a that's a, that's a great result Wolves at the, at the Molyneux News so are always a very difficult place to go so I'm expecting a very very tough game however it, the games at the Emirates are always high scoring so could it be another high scoring game but hopefully Leicester can be on the right end of the scoreline this year yeah. Obviously, Arsenal under Mikel are said to have improved massively since Unai Emery. Very, very strong defensively. And going forward, they are always a big threat with the likes of Pierre, Emery, Cabanyang, Nicolas Pepe, even any Eddie and is that out? Is that his name? I don't know. But yeah, the Arsenal defensively are much more improved and going forward, they're always a threat, like I said. With players like Abanyang in there, it's always going to be difficult to stop Arsenal from scoring. So, like I said, I'm expecting a very, very tough game against Arsenal on Tuesday night. However, with that win against Crystal Palace, I am slightly confident that Leicester could potentially sneak a result on Tuesday night. Like I said, the games between Arsenal and Leicester are always high scoring, especially at the Emirates away from home for Leicester. So I'm expecting a very, very open game, end to end stuff. It could be a high scoring one, it could be like a 2 2, something like that. So hopefully we can get on the right end of the scoreline. In the last few years, Leicester have taken the lead and we always managed to lose. It's very frustrating, but hopefully the things can change. We haven't won the first year, so. That needs to change and hopefully that can happen on Tuesday night. But like I said, it's going to be a tough one. I would, and, and to be perfectly honest, I would definitely take a point. So with that being said, moving on to my score prediction then. I'm going to go with an Arsenal 1, Leicester 1. I think the points will be shared at the Emirates. And in fairness, that would be a very, very good, very good result. Getting a point away from home at the Emirates is never a bad result at all. Obviously, Arsenal really improved under Mikel Arteta. So obviously, they're still a bit dodgy defensively with the likes of David Luiz and Mustafi. So we could capitalise on that if they have a poor game. But overall, it's going to be a difficult one. And Leicester still are not at the heights of the season, just like we showed in October, etc. And we did actually manage to beat Arsenal 2 0 at the King Pelf Stadium around October when they're still absolutely thriving. So, yeah, hopefully we can get the three points, but I would 100% take a point on Tuesday night. So, goal scorers are going to go with Jamie Vardy to get a 102nd Premier League goal. I think that goal, the, the, actually, the two goals against Crystal Palace are going to give Vardy a lot of confidence. We saw that just the one goal to get his 100th really got the weight off his shoulders and he managed to score two, a second goal to make it 3 0 Leicester later on. And for Arsenal, I'm going to go with Pierre Emerick Abamil. So, yeah, my score prediction Arsenal 1, Leicester City 1. I know I definitely take a point out of Emirates on Tuesday night. So that's it for the Arsenal side of things, my thoughts on the game and my score predictions. Let's get straight into my predicted lineup. So, so this is the side I think Brendan Rodgers will go to start against Arsenal on Tuesday night down at the Emirates Stadium in London. So start off in goal, I'm going to be going with Kasper Schmeichel. A clean sheet on Saturday, first clean sheet in about four months. So yeah, that's good to, that's good to see. Schmeichel didn't really have to, didn't have to make too much saves against Crystal Palace. He made one good save. Jesus, from Gary Cahill. But overall, it's a solid performance from Casper. Obviously, kept the clean sheet, which is, which is going to give Casper a lot of confidence. Hopefully, he can battle it up with hopefully a clean sheet. But, you know, it's going to be difficult with the likes of Aubameyang up front. But yeah, Casper Schmeichel starts in goal for me on Tuesday night. Right then, so a change of formation. I'm going to be going with the same formation we went with against Crystal Palace, the 3-4-1-2 type of formation. So moving into the three centre-backs, one starts off with the right one, or I don't know what order they're going. But anyway, 
First centre-back, Ryan Bennett. I'm going to go with him to start. What performance against Crystal Palace on the weekend. He came on at half-time for the injured Ben Chilwell, I do believe, and he slotted in really good. Obviously, he played a five at the back or three at the back of Wolves, just whatever you want to call it. So, he's definitely used to this formation and he came in and did a very, very good job against Crystal Palace last time in the Premier League. So, hopefully, Ryan Bennett can come in and have another solid performance against Arsenal. Obviously, it's going to be much more difficult. It's going to have to be wary of players like Bamyang, Ozil, and then make a move. I don't know if Ozil will play, but yeah, it's going to be difficult. Hopefully, Ryan Bennett can have another solid performance. Moving alongside Bennett, I'm going to be going with Kagler Soyuncu. Clean sheet for him on Saturday. Good performance from him as per usual. Very, very solid. Hopefully, he can do a right in the three at the back as well. And I think the three at the back will allow players like him. Evans, oh, the other centre-back, I'm going to go over. And Bennett to all come forward with the ball and make chances. So, yeah, soon to start as the other centre-back. And moving into the final of the third centre-back, I'm going to be going with Johnny Evans. He's in a very experienced head. And he's probably played in the three at the back before. So, yeah, hopefully Johnny can have another solid performance in the three at the back. And with players like Aubameyang in the Arsenal team, the three at the back will, will, will benefit Leicester. And it will make us very, very solid defence boost. So, yeah, my three at the back. Bennett, Sunchu, and Johnny Evans. So moving into the midfield fourth and starts off in the right mid slash right ring belt position. I'm going to be going with James Justin. A great performance from him against Crystal Palace. Of course, had Wolfred Zaha in his back pocket. So fair play to the youngster. He was very good defensively. Also going forward, of course, he hit the bar as well. So overall, well performance actually from James Justin. Obviously, he hit the bar defensively. He was very solid as well. So hopefully, he can follow that up against Arsenal. It's going to be difficult, but I think the five at the back will allow James Justin to bomb on forward as well. Obviously, we all know what James Justin can do attacking wise. He scored a few goals already this season and of course hit the bar against Palace on Saturday so hopefully he can possibly get a goal hopefully he can be solid defensively and also the five at the back slash three will allow James Justin to bomb on forward as well moving into the two central midfielders then starts up in the defensive type role slash just, just normal sense I, mean, I don't know I'm going to go with Wolf and Diddy of course brilliant performance from Wolf against Crystal Palace really looked back to his best controlling midfield breaking up the play so hopefully Wolf can have another solid performance hopefully he can get more of the ball from the three centre backs as well and maybe possibly Wolf can get forward a bit more but you all know Wolf does can have a good shot at times that you either going to go Rose or into the top corner so hopefully Wolf can have another solid game alongside Wolf and Diddy star man Yuri Tillemans for me what a performance against Crystal Palace of course got the assist for Kelly Ian Atcher's first goal brilliant ball in so hopefully Tillemans can have a good game against Arsenal I think the five at the back will allow Tillemans to really show what he's got going forward I think it's a brilliant performance against Crystal Palace for him look, look much more sharper on the turn and he looked just overall looked like a, a better player on the ball so yeah Yuri Tillemans to start in the midfield and moving into the left wing but position I'm going to be going with Christian Fuchs there's a slight concern over Ben Shield obviously picked up a knock had to go up at half time so I think Christian Fuchs will be the man to slot in for Ben Shield so hopefully Christian can come forward obviously Fuchs not the best going forward he's very good defensively but I think Christian Fuchs is very solid going forward I can pair him to a Michael Brighton always gives 100% so hopefully Christian can have a good game against Arsenal on the weekend of course he's got his long throw as well but so you never know we could use that so hopefully Christian can have another solid game so yeah my, midf my midfield four slash I don't know what you want to call it kind of the five at the back I don't know it's a weird formation anyway right wing back James Justin two central midfielders Tiedemans and Adili left wing back Christian Fuchs right then so moving into the front three well, it's basically a one slash two so starting off in the type of camera I'm going to be going with Yosi Perez what a performance from Yosi Perez on the weekend really had a great game and we can see why because Yosi Perez finally got a chance in his preferred position behind the striker or behind the two strikers in this case obviously it was always going to be difficult for Yosi to get to get into that position obviously with James Madison in the squad but Madison has still picked up a slight injury so it's looking unlikely that Madders will be involved on Tuesday night so hopefully Yosi can come in behind the strikers once again and have a great performance obviously he was heavily involved in all three goals on the weekend sadly didn't score but Yosi Perez really did look back to his best so yeah hopefully Yosi can have a good game in behind the two strikers so moving on to the two strikers in fact moving into left one Hunch of Premier League goal Mr. Jamie Vardy he is back Leicester are back Vardy's back he has finally scored two against Crystal Palace hopefully Vardy can follow that up with a good performance and hopefully score some goals against Arsenal usually has a good record at the Emirates hopefully Vardy can have another good game of course got his 100 Premier League goal and that's going to give him a load of confidence yeah Jamie Vardy to start front. And alongside Jamie Vardy, I'm going to be going with Kelechi. And actually, of course, got his goal as well. 2-2 two two for Kelly. Now, it was a pretty easy finish. I think I could have scored it. But he was there in the right position. That's going to give Kelechi some good confidence as well. Hopefully, Vardy, Kelechi, Paris can all link up just like they did in the game. So, yeah, hopefully, Vardy can have a good performance alongside Kelechi, Nacho, and Iguzi Perez behind. So, yeah, my front three slash 2-1. Whatever you want to call it. Perez in the camp and Vardy and Ian Nacho up front. 
So then boys and girls, that is it for the Arsenal versus Leicester match preview. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. I went through the Arsenal side of things from Ben. A big thanks to him for coming on the channel. Go and subscribe. I'll put a link to the channel in the description down below. My thoughts on the game, my score prediction, and my predicted lineup, which you just saw then. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If so, like I said, go and drop a like, subscribe. If you haven't raised a huge game on the weekend, let me know your score predictions in the comment section down below, people. Bye, my sports, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace, guys. Oh, my, oh my. I'm broken, I'm broken